The other thing to talk about is also that Gunner has been freed. Gunner is free, which is quite shocking to me, considering how many times um, they were denying his bail and basically making it seem like he was a major part of this RICO charge that brought down um, YSL and were basically saying that, hey, this is a gang and they are responsible for all these homicides. They're a menace to society. There's no way we're going to let this guy out. And now all of a sudden we're in a position where he's now out and free and it looks like from what we can see of this statement courtesy of WSB TV that Gunner may have snitched and it's going to be an interesting thing for people in hip-hop to mull over and debate and make and kind of make sense of because essentially this is the same tactic approach that 6 9 used but 6 9 was lambasted for and if anything for me it's no surprise because I've always said or I, I'm always aware of the fact that when it comes to being somebody who is a public figure, it's probably more important to be well liked and well regarded than it is anything else. Like maybe the opposite would be to be hated. Those are usually some of the biggest, um, you know, jewels or secret powers that you can have to make yourself really successful. Where you really split opinion, whether you're super likable or really hated, they will go a long way in terms of helping you propel your career forward. And because 6 9 always had a terrible reputation and no one really liked him, it was it made a lot of sense when he ended up snitching in his case that people were legitimately on his head top and have never really let him forget it since. But to be fair to him, he also said a lot more people would snitch in my position um, given the circumstances around it if they were put in that position. It's really different to kind of speak about it from the outside looking in until you're actually in that room negotiating for your life. You know, you've been in, you know, you, you've been denied bail, I think in Gunner's case, four times. You're facing a RICO charge. You could be anywhere between like five to 10 years in prison. Uh, you know, it's looking crazy, especially if you didn't do anything, right? Legitimately, you feel like you didn't do nothing. It can be hard to take that oath of like being in a gang and like, you know, say no comment whatsoever and take me back to my cell when all your when you know your, your all your life is ahead of you and you're basically putting it at risk for a gang that you maybe didn't really play an active part in but for me if you're just asking me for my opinion this is definitely snitching there's no way to go kind of go around it if you are in a gang and if you are ripping something that's given you some level of clout and you know what these guys are getting up to behind the scenes and you know what they do and you have this silent agreement that you're going to be a part of it to further your music career to improve your reputation and they go down for something that's just part of doing business you have to go down also i don't understand this idea of like you know oh i'm a civilian now just no 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 you were here when the things were good you have to also be here when things go bad but for whatever reason this is probably the safest time to do what Gunner's doing. I don't feel like most people really care. I'm sure there'll be some guys in the music industry who are really about that life that are probably never going to speak to him again. But I think for the majority of people, mostly his fans, he'll be fine. Nothing will happen really going forward. He'll be completely fine. But let me read the article anyway because I think it's really interesting. It's his courtesy of WSB TV2. It says Atlanta rapper Gunner has been released from jail after pleaded guilty to a racketeering conspiracy charge in a sweeping gang indictment against him, rapper Young Fuck, and several other alleged members of the Young Slime, Young Slime Life criminal street gang. Channel 2 investigates, investigative sorry, reporter Mark Wine was the only television journalist in the courtroom Wednesday as Gunner, whose real name is Sergio Kitchens, faced judge. A lot of people are saying, why doesn't he just use his name, Sergio Kitchens? Because it's actually cooler than Gunner, right? A lot of people would say that, but I, lo I love the, I love the, I love the Gunner name. Gunner Wanna is one of my faves, actually. So I'm a little bit, I have a little bit of a bias going into this because I just want to hear good music. Um, the rapper entered a negotiated plea known as an Alfred plea in which the defendant doesn't admit he committed a crime, but acknowledges that in his best interest to plead guilty. The charge Gunner faced was one of count of conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influence Corruption Act. Gunner was sentenced to five years with one year served in prison. The one year sentence was commuted to time served. The four year remaining balance on his sentence has been suspended and he'll be subject to a special conditions, including 500 hours of community service. So essentially he'll be on probation for four years, which is pretty tough so you're gonna have to be on really good behavior for the next four years and if he isn't he's gonna be in big trouble and might end up back in prison again 
After the sentence came down Rapper released a statement saying the following While I have always agreed to be truthful I want to make it perfectly clear that I do not have that I have not made any statements have not been interviewed have not cooperated have not agreed to testify or be a witness for any for any or against any party in the case and have absolutely no intention of being involved in the trial process in any way interesting statement to make upon your release right to kind of make it known that you're not a snitch that's kind of giving me snitch right it's kind of it's, it goes back to that term um um d doth protest too much that's what it's kind of feeling like despite saying that he will not testify it is the condition of gunner's trial that he testifies if he's called though he can claim the fifth amendment so that was obviously in place the same thing that what's her face kelsey was doing in the megan stallion and tory trial gunner youngfug and 26 were arrested um in may in a sweeping gang indictment that claimed ysl was a violent street gang we know this in his statement wednesday um gunner said that he joined ysl in 2016 he didn't consider it a gang but more like a group of people from metro atlanta who had a common interest in artistic aspirations my focus of ysl was entertainment rap artists who wrote and performed music that exaggerated and glorified urban life in the black community oh he's copying please man gunner gunner said he cherishes his association with ysl music and always will so maybe the condition of his release is that he can't be, you know, a true, he can't be associated with YSL anymore. It may be even a thing where he can't actually hang out with Young Thug. Maybe a little bit similar to what was happening to Little Dirk and King Vaughn for a while, where they couldn't really be around, around each other, even though I'm pretty sure they probably were hanging around in secret. But it looks like he's going to be off of YSL when he goes forward with his career. Um, during Gunner's court appearance on Wednesday, the judge read out wrote stipulations of the plea agreement that Gunner then responded to. The rapper swore that he has no personal knowledge that members of the associate of YSL have committed crimes in favor of a gang. Oh my God, it says he has. I read it wrong. Oh, this is definitely snitching then, isn't it? The rapper swore that he has personal knowledge that the members or associates of YSL have committed crimes in favor of a gang, but seemed to distance himself from YSL the gang versus YSL the label. I recognize and accept and deeply regret that my talent in music indirectly furthered YSL the gang to the detriment of my community. YSL as a gang must end. <sighs> Jesus Christ, man. I'm so interested to see how the hip hop blogs receive this and how podcasters receive this and, you know, commentators on YouTube and whatnot, because this will be interesting. And even other artists, because Gunner's very, very well liked. He's very well regarded. Young Fug is also, you can see the reception and the reverence they still have. Even Young Fug, even though he's in jail, you know, Meek Mill did a post about him recently. And, you know, it just seemed like they have a lot of friends in the industry, maybe because of how they get down, you know, on the streets, but also just because of their talent and their popularity in general. So I'll be interested to see how people react to this because this sounds like to me somebody who cooperated. So if you're gonna rip into Six Nine for doing what he did, even though what Six Nine did was probably way more egregious, especially you know sending out that guy to do a hit on Chief Keith, I think it was. I forgot who the guy was, and then going and stitching on him in the court, and then getting time off, and him still being in jail, crazy. But this is just basically the same thing on paper. There's no real difference. And he's publicly disavowing them in the same way that 6 9 did, actually, if you think about it. Before 6 9 got arrested, one of the main things he did was book that Breakfast Club interview where he essentially said, I'm not in a gang anymore and exposed the, you know, the whole kidnapping thing and how they're stealing money and this idea that the gang was messing with his baby mom, which is why he was, why he potentially would snitch, like all this sort of stuff. So it's the same sort of blueprint, the same sort of steps he's going through you know, disassociating off of the gang, distance stuff from it, all this sort of stuff. Oh, God. Especially after that Crime Stoppers thing he went through a while back, right, where this video was uncovered of Gunner doing a Crime Stoppers doc, you know, advert about if you see a crime, call and all this, whatever it may be, and it made him seem crazy and people made excuses for him because he was really young. He may have been under 16 or something at the time. Now it's going to be really hard to make excuses for him if you care about that sort of stuff. I, as a fan of his music, don't necessarily care because i'm just going to hear more albums and see him perform live because one thing i was really glad about even young folks the same thing selfishly i was like man i've never seen them perform live and now they're going to be locked up for 20 plus years but selfishly it's a good thing but i think if you are somebody that cares a lot about the streets and cares about you know about what 
about gang culture and in terms of you know honoring your word in terms of being in a gang and all that sort of stuff then you're going to be a bit disappointed with this Gunner also attested in a plea deal that he was in a car with young folk whose real name is Jeffrey Williams when officers pulled them over and found hydrocodone methamphetamine and a firearm inside according to the plea agreement Gunn uh, claimed the gun and drugs weren't his it's unclear if anyone else was in the car at the time so in a car that includes gunner and young fog that gets pulled over by police and they then find inside of that car after doing a sweep hydrocodone methamphetamine and a firearm gunner says it's not mine if there's only two people in there plus a driver then who's who else is, is it Per the plea agreement, the rapper also has to perform 500 hours of community service, substantial portion of which will require him to speak to young people about the hazards of homo immorality of gangs and gang violence. Oh. oh, God almighty. Don't get me wrong. Way more tougher, seasoned, grizzled veterans in flipping gang law history have snitched right some of the biggest capos in the world have snitched leaders inform whatever you know hitmen assassins whatever has snitched for sure it's just wild because i felt like they were gonna be the exception and maybe hold it down and prove everybody wrong because why a family all this type of stuff you remember that massive that amazing portrait they all took for the recent compilation tape where they're all seated around each other and it kind of feels like a bit of a organized crime family that just gets it they're kind of you know similar to maybe what happened to gs9 and whatnot but now we're seeing that whole gs9 thing with um bobby schmurder and you know what's his name uh, uh rowdy rebel that's an exception most people don't take time to help their friends that don't do as much time and staying with them at the same time whatever it may be people don't you know people usually take plea deals and you know cop out to people and whatnot or cop up to crimes and snitch on their friends so that whole GS9 Bobby Schmurder thing is very, very unique. It's a very one of situations. I think for the most part, when you're sitting down there, especially for Gunner, think about him. If he's legitimately not involved in the, in the gang side of things, which I can't really debate on because I don't know. But if he is and he was just enjoying himself at home and having some lobsters and some fucking whatever else rich people stuff they do where you're maybe cleaning your Rolex and whatnot on your bus downs, and then suddenly you get arrested, for this big sweeping RICO indictment and you have nothing involved in it and you get denied your bail you know, four times and you can't appeal it anymore and you're sitting in a prison and you are just enjoying, you know, the one that thing that broke my heart was that I think maybe a week or maybe some weeks before he got arrested, he was in flipping Italy promoting Emiliano Pucci. And, you know, there were the whole pushing P thing and going out to Europe and connecting with these fashion brands. And actually, it felt like he was taking the next step in his career to being a legitimate star star. And then suddenly you're in prison. It can be hard to kind of handle all those type of things. So I don't, you know, I don't deny that that probably played in his decision making process. But I don't know, man, if people were given six, nine hassle, this has to be the same level because this is probably worse because he's such hus how high profile he is given that six nine was so young and didn't really have that long of a career <sighs> anyway it continues he's not allowed to carry a gun during the term of his sentence if he violates the term of his plea agreement the district attorney has a right to revoke his suspended sentence alleged ysl founder walter murphy also negotiated a plea deal and indictment on tuesday according to his lawyer so i never even heard of this guy walter murphy so he did the deal as well Hudson said Murphy has already been released and he will not testify about the conduct of any other individual defendant. Hudson said the ways that Murphy had changed his life since he got out of prison was a major factor in the deal. Wow. So essentially they're all hanging, flipping young fuck to dry. He's the only one that's going to be in there holding it down all by himself while all of his friends are out there living their best life. Man being a gang is long in it like i've been fascinated with gang culture for the longest time i think like most heterosexual males out there but one of the things that always kind of deterred me was the idea that you couldn't really run or operate a sophisticated criminal network without involving other people if you wanted to you know ascend the flipping ranks and kind of really assert your dominance in a particular area you would have to recruit more people recruit muscle recruit foot on the foot soldiers wherever it may be pushers blah 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 and the more people you involve in a conspiracy in a crime in a gang the more kind of weak points you have for people to attack especially police right because essentially it feels like the police's plan all along 
was to have somebody like a gunner sit down for a while who they know deep down probably wasn't involved in the criminal side of things but because he was closely associated with them and closely linked to them most likely he could ascertain the fact that they are a gang because the whole thing they're fighting for is that YSL isn't a gang it's a label so if, if it's not if it's a label then you can't put them under the RICO Act because they're just musicians but if it is a gang then of course the RICO goes through so that's a big part of the case so if they could get Gunnar to sit down a kind of periphery member but it's also closely attached or associated with Young Fug because Young Fug essentially changed that man's life and kind of gave him a career on a plate and basically helped to build him up you know in terms of what he was doing it made sense what the police were doing in terms of their investigation and the way to kind of put him in the corner have him sit down deny all his um bail requests for back-to-back ones that he wasn't able to get even though the only crime that he was actually you know accused of at the time i think if we read through the charges was that he was in music videos throwing up the i don't know the slat and doing the whole slime life whatever sign they do and that's what he basically charged with so they knew that they could put him in a corner sweat him out a bit present him with a plea and then he'd probably take it because you know he legitimately doesn't want to be in prison he's not built for that life he didn't do anything wrong blah 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 so it kind of worked out in their favor but it's a bit pissed for young fuck because he's legitimately there on his own sitting down and doing time for people who don't really give a fuck about him which is pretty brutal but also a good reflection of how horrible it is to actually be in a gang like for real it doesn't actually go and work in any kind of conducive way going forward but yeah man I don't know, man. Um, hold your head up, innit, young folk? I guess for the most part, I'm happy Gunners out again. Like I said, selfishly being a fan, I want him to be out so I can listen to new music going forward. But I am kind of gutted for the guy having to sit down there for a long time. And, you know, there is no kind of end in sight, really, it feels like for him going forward. But I hope it works out. I really, really, really hope it works out.